Hi and welcome to the new devlog for Sandfire. It's been over three months now, so let's get started. And as a quick reminder, Sandfire is a single player action game with souls like elements and a strong emphasis on world building. So with Godot 4 coming up, I decided to port my game from the current Godot version 3 to the pre-alpha of version 4. However, since my game is already quite large, I need to port piece by piece to the new version because otherwise the game breaks completely. However, I will try to look at it as a chance and due to this I decided to improve the existing assets with more details and also new textures. And since Godot 4 comes with the new Vulkan renderer, this should also be no problem for the engine as well. I started off by creating this desert scene, which you can currently see in the background. There, the player will start off his adventure, entering the Great Tower, which you can see far in the distance. And this tower will lead deep underground where the complete world of the game resides. And the scene is strongly inspired by the last area of Dark Souls 3 and also some artworks which are found online. And in particular, the architecture of the distant tower was created after the Tower of Babel as a main reference. I started with a rough block out to get the overall shape and size relations correct. For my personal workflow, I retake the blocked out mesh and add with each iteration a new layer of detail. And I will repeat this process until I'm somewhat satisfied with my result. And after I finished the tower, I made a test export to Google 4 with my very first result. Later, I added some rocks, which I boldly asset flipped. But for these rocks, I make now use of the new LOD function and also added a shader to blend them better with the sand. And for this certain sand shader, I also made a tutorial if you are interested. With time passing by, I brought more and more assets to Gudo 4 and improved the scene step by step. During this process, I noticed that it is very challenging to make a desert look fast but not empty at the same time. So I reused many of my old sandfire assets and added them to the scene with the improved layout. For the new PBR textures I use Substance Alchemist since it's very easy to use and easy to generate good looking textures out of photographs. I also recreated many particle effects, which I had in Godot version 3, since they are unfortunately not portable to Godot version 4. During this process I made a post on Reddit and received much feedback on how to improve my scene and worked on them especially. In particular the lightning and the sky were mentioned frequently since um, people said that the lightning seems unrealistic compared to the sky. Uh, so after I finished working on the feedback, this is the final result of the scene. After everything was done, I asked you on Twitter what I should cover in this video, so I hope this will meet your demands. So firstly the sand material. It's a bit complex, but to create a convincing dune, I sampled two different sand textures triplanar onto plane, instead of just using one repeating texture. And to decide which sand texture is drawn where, I use a height map which I got from an Unreal Engine for a desert tutorial and use the values, like for instance on the white areas, I map the soft sand texture and on the darker areas I use the granny sand texture since it's located lower. Moreover, I added the vertex displacement to the terrain with the same textures so that we don't have a flat plane anymore. 
and to top everything off, I added another texture, which I scrolled over the terrain to fake a sand movement and consequently create a more windy feel. Secondly, the sky, which was quite easy to create. I just added a panorama HDR to the sky. However, since the normal panorama texture doesn't have any movement at all, I added just one line of code to displace the UVs with a moving noise texture. And this creates a fake cloud movement which you can see in the background. I also thought of making a 1 minute tutorial for the sky in some weeks when the official Kudo 4 Alpha releases um, if you are interested. And lastly the post processing which is nothing special. Everything except the shader and the volumetric fog would also be possible to recreate in Kudo version 3. Um, since the volumetric fog looks very stiff on its own, I added a particle system with another scrolling noise texture and this makes everything look a bit more windy and adds to the atmospheric feel. And this is basically everything for this little progress video. Unfortunately I'm a little bit time restricted, therefore the devlog is a bit quicker, but maybe this is also better for the viewers and for the next week I will port the player, the magic, the weapons, the inventory and so on to the Godo version 4. So stay tuned and thank you very much for watching my video as always and take care.